dear students of class 10 durgapur ispat vidyalay i am going to discuss about refraction of light mainly reflection of light is already discussed now in the case of reflection of light we know about the formation of image for various positions of the object but in the case of concave mirror but in the case of convex mirror since the image is always in between pole and focus and it is invert it is it is always virtual and diminished hence it is not discussed there now we know refraction of light its definition already given but i give you i am going to supply the definition again and then laws of refraction of light and snell's law and so on right refraction of light refraction of light the definition i when a ray of light ray of light traveling in one transparent transparent homogeneous transparent homogeneous transparent homogeneous homo genius that is that is density same throughout the medium how is the of light traveling in one transparent homogeneous medium homogeneous medium and falls obliquely not perpendicularly or obliquely on another that is second another transparent transparent homogeneous medium another means second here yeah. medium then as it enters it must be written as it enters into the enters the enters the second medium second medium as it enters the second medium it undergoes it undergoes an abrupt change an abrupt change in direction that is 
Highly ray of light traveling in one transparent homogeneous medium and falls obliquely. Falls obliquely on another transparent homogeneous medium. Then, as it enters, that is during entering into the second medium, as it en enters the second medium, it undergoes an abrupt change in direction. In the second medium, obviously, this phenomenon of bending of light when falls obliquely from one medium which is obviously transparent and homogeneous from one medium to the other to the other medium to the other medium at the surface of separation that is at the interface at the boundaries between the two media other medium one medium to the other medium at the surface of separation at the surface of separation here also one medium then as it enters the second medium it undergoes an abrupt change in direction in which place at the surface of separation here we, we can write at the surface of separation surface of separation between the between the two media two media between the two media here this phenomenon of bending of light when falls when a when light ray when light ray falls obliquely from one medium to the other at the surface of separation surface of separation between the two media between the two media is called refraction of light is called refraction of light right hence this phenomena occurs when a light ray falls obliquely on the surface of separation of the two media concerned then during entering into the second medium during entering into the second medium it bends its path changes this phenomenon of light is known as refraction of light now we know about the two laws which are already discussed in the previous lectures now we see laws of refraction of refraction of light laws of refraction of light law one you know it hence it is not discussed here it is already given law one is the incident ray refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence on the refracting surface all lie in the same plane again repeat again law one the incident ray the refracted ray the incident ray the incident ray the refracted ray this is the normal the refracted ray and the normal normal 
at the point of incidence at the point of incidence over here this is surface of separation s1 s2 AO is the incident ray which is incident at O on the refracting surface S1, S2 and this is medium 1 homogeneous transfer medium this is medium 2 medium 2 here AO is the incident ray OB is the refracted ray and NO, N prime is the normal that is perpendicular at the point of incidence O on the refracting surface S1, S2. Now the angle between the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence is angle of incidence and it is generated by I and the angle made by the refracted ray OB, refracted ray on the with the normal O N dust, N O N dust at the point O on the refracting surface S1, S2 it is the angle of refraction and is denoted by small r right now we discuss about the second law of refraction of light which is also called Slane's law second law law 2 law 1 is already given law 2 given but not discussed elaborately here Law 2. For given two media, for given two media, for given two media, and for a given color of light, for a given color of light that is wavelength of light color depends upon the wavelength wavelength of light for given two media that is for given pair of media given pair of media pair two means pair pair of media for two media that is pair of media and for a given color of light the sign the sign of the angle of incidence here I angle of incidence to the the ratio obviously the ratio the ratio of the the ratio then the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction Each always is a constant, each constant. That is the ratio of the sign of the angle of incidence to the sign of angle of refraction, sign of right for a given color of for for given for a given two media, for given two media, and for a given color of light, that is for given wavelength of light. Then the ratio of the side of angle of incidence to the sign of angle of refraction is constant in the case of refraction of light. In the case of refraction of light, right? That is sin i by sin r, that is sin i by sin r by sin r equal to constant a constant this constant 
is called relative refractive index refractive index of the second medium that is the medium at which refraction occurs with respect to the first medium that is from which the incident ray lies right that is sin i by sin r equal to a constant it is a constant and is called is called refractive index that is relative obviously relative relative refractive index refractive index of the second medium that is the medium at which refraction occurs of the second medium second medium with respect to the first with respect to the first medium with respect to the first medium it is denoted by various symbols it is denoted by a right it after rehearsing this log 2 for a given for given two media and for a given color of light what will happen then right for refraction re okay which then the right then the ratio of the ang sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is always constant hmm. for a given color of light and for a given two media concerned two media when refraction occurs refraction occurs it is added here then the ratio of the given of the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is always constant right this constant is called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first here that is the refractive index of the medium at which refraction occurs with respect to the medium at which incident ray present right now the refractive index relative refractive index relative refractive index that is 1 mu 2 or 1 n2 or mu 2 1 or mu n 2 1 we write here n not mu refractive index refractive index this is relative refractive index relative relative this is relative refractive index refractive index of the medium to with respect to with respect to the medium one that is the medium two is the refracted medium in which refraction occurs and this is the incident medium where ray of light is incident medium 1 is written is written as n21 that is when n21 is written if this is the, this uh, symbols denotes that the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first n21 and if we, we write n12 then it will be the refractive index of the medium 1 with respect to the medium 2 right n21 it is obviously sin i by sin r equal to sin i by sin r sin of the angle of incidence to the sin of angle of refraction here 
angle of incidence is i and angle of refraction is r angle of incidence i angle of refraction is r now this law that is second law this law of refraction of light is called snell's law this law of refraction of light is called snell's law very important for your syllabus snell's law we also write generalized snell's law after some discussion now and so we have this is the relative refractive index what will be the relative refractive index that is the refractive index of a medium with respect to another medium is called relative refractive index and it is denoted by n21 that is refractive index of the medium 2 with respect to the medium 1 which is written earlier in the suffix then it the refractive index of the that medium with respect to the other medium remember it this is called snell's law of light the what do you know relative refractive refractive index the relative refractive index means refractive index of one, one medium with respect to the other now re, re, refractive index of a medium depends upon the color of light used that is upon the wavelength of light used the nature nature of the media two media concerned nature of the two media concerned that is the optical density of the two media of the two different media optical density remember it and also it depends upon the temperature of the of that media or media because for temperature we see that the speed applied in a media is increased consequently refractive index will be decreased right what do mean by absolute refractive index what do mean by absolute refractive index absolute refractive index that is the refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum with respect to vacuum the refractive index refractive index of a medium that is in the in this case first medium is obviously vacuum that is free space the refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum with respect to vacuum that is when when light ray a light ray suffers refraction coming from vacuum to the medium concern media when a light ray suffers refraction refraction in the given medium given medium coming from vacuum coming from free space that is vacuum right that is in this case the and the corresponding and then the ratio of the sign of angle of incidence in the form obviously angle of an angle of incidence sign of angle of incidence 
that is sin i in vacuum obviously to the sign of to the sign of angle of reflection angle of reflection that is sin r where i is the angle of incidence in vacuum of the incident ray and angle of reflection that is reflection angle of reflection b small r here sin of the angle of reflection that is sin r in the medium in the given in the given medium given medium angle of reflection is called the absolute refractive index absolute refractive index to symbolize the ri of the given media medium of the given medium now absolute refractive index the refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum that is when light rays suffers refraction in the given medium coming from vacuum and then the ratio then the ratio of the sin of angle of incidence that is sin i in vacuum to the sin of angle of refraction sin r in the medium given medium is called the angle of absolute refractive index of the given medium now we know the refractive index in both the cases that is relative refractive index and absolute refractive index with respect to the speed of light right the refractive index the relative refractive index refractive index of a medium to of a medium to with respect to we not take on here with respect to the second medium with respect to the second medium that is symbolized as n to 1 or mu to 1 the relative refractive index of a medium to with respect to the second medium with respect to the first medium not second medium refractive index of the medium to the first medium the refractive index of the second medium of of the of the second medium with respect to the first medium that is n to 1 equal to speed of light speed of light that is velocity of light speed of light in the first medium in the first medium divided by speed of light speed of light in the second medium right okay the relative refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium that is n21 symbolized as n21 is equal to speed of light in the first medium remember it in the first medium speed of light divided by speed of light in the second medium similarly in a similar way we write the absolute refractive index of a medium the absolute absolute refractive index of a medium is 
which here we only write a not suffix e required here if we, uh, required then we write it as n1 n2 n3 n4 and so on for the first second third or fourth medium respectively that's why effective index of a medium is equal to velocity of light here first medium is vacuum that is empty space free space velocity of light in vacuum which is constant and approximately 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in vacuum divided by velocity of light in the given medium velocity of light in the given medium which reflective index absolute reflective index is 1 to no in the given medium but let the velocity of light in vacuum is denoted by small c small c and the velocity of light in the given medium is represented by small v small v that is n equal to velocity of light in vacuum it is the absolute reflective index of a medium divided by velocity of light in given medium right okay now let the reflective index of glass be 1.5 and the velocity of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second always c equal to since velocity of light in vacuum c equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second approx and this is constant for all electromagnetic waves in free space when moves when they move in free space therefore n equal to we can write 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second by velocity of light in the given medium by v here right in meter per second in meter per second hence we have reflected velocity of light in the medium and it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second by v v is the velocity of light in that medium now we consider glass medium that is a light ray coming from space free space vacuum and for sorry air also for air uh, reflective index is nearly one that is uh, nearly same as that of vacuum hence here will also be considered instead of vacuum now problem one small problem simple problem the reflective index that is absolute when we write a reflective index only that is absolute the reflective index of only one medium the reflective index are obviously reflective index has no units because it is the ratio of two similar physical quantities velocity 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 hence there is no unit or dimension the reflective index of glass be 1.5 then what will be the reflective index what will be the velocity of light in glass right the reflective index of glass be 1.5 then what will be the reflect velocity of light in glass we use this formula what is the velocity of light 
तीन दस भी भी इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू टेन टू दाइट बाई एन राइट सोल्यूशन भी इक्वल टू वेलोसिटी ऑफ लाइट क्या वेलोसिटी ऑफ लाइट इन प्लस इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू टेन टू दावर ऑफ एट मीटर पर सेकेंड बाय एन दैट इज रिफ्लेक्टिव इंडेक्स बाय एन रिफ्लेक्टिव इंडेक्स दैट इज थ्री इंटू टेन टू दावर ऑफ एट मीटर पर सेकेंड बाय वन पॉइंट फाइव दैट मीन्स जीरो पॉइंट फाइव कैंसिल थ्री एंड इन द डिनोमिनेटर वन पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एंड इफ इट इज टेकन इन टू numerals numerical value that is 0.5 also will be 5 by 10 that is 10 by 5 2 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second will be the required answer right v equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 by reflective index otherwise if reflective index is not known velocity is known in the uh, glass medium 2 into 10 to the 8 meter per second then reflective index will also be found at one point the answer will be 1.5 right now we see the generalized generalized snell's law generalized right before this we may prove that n21 equal to 1 by n12. That is, reflective index of the medium 2 with respect to 1 is the reciprocal of reflective index of the medium 1 with respect to the medium 2. Reflective index of the medium 2 with respect to 1 is equal to 1 by reflective index of the medium 1 with respect to the medium 2. Of the medium 1 with respect to the medium 2. Right? And we may prove that it is n21. Uh, if we take uh, n21 equal to 1 by n12, right? It is very important here. We show that it is nothing but n2 by n1. n2 by n1. That is absolute reflective index of the medium 2 by absolute reflective index of medium 1 right it is very important at first we see by which principle is used here to prove this first we may prove with the considering uh, speed of light that is n21 n21 equal to velocity of light in medium 1 velocity of light in 1 of medium 1 obviously by velocity of light velocity of light in medium 2 right now this is the absolute reflective index not relative right that is here it is it will be the velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in medium 2 by velocity of light velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in medium 1 in medium 1 right if we write it in this form then we may prove that n21 or 1 by n12 will be n2 by n1 that is after absolute reflective index of the medium 2 is, and the absolute reflective index of medium 1 this two ratio n2 by n1 here we extract a velocity of light in vacuum 
in both numerator and denominator velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in vacuum take it into this right this right now we see this is at the denominator velocity of light in velocity of light in one medium first medium first medium by velocity of light in second medium right now if velocity of light is taken above that is at the numerator position we have this is this term is in the denominator hence we may write velocity of light in vacuum vsc wm but we write here vsc by velocity of light in second medium in second medium m e medium m e d i u m right into one of one velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in the first medium that is velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in the first medium this is nothing but n2 and this is n1 that is this and this absolute refractive index of the second medium that is n2 upon absolute refractive index of the first medium velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in the first medium right but right okay hence we may prove n21 equal to n2 by n1 or n12 only n12 n12 equal to n1 by n2 also right this relation is very important it is also proved by using the principle of reversibility of path of light rays that is path of light after suffering various number of reflections and refractions then they reverse in path in the same path reverses its path that is retraces its path in the opposite directions right we see that in the principle of reversibility of path of light rays principle of reversibility of path of light rays if we use this that is we take this is the surface of separation of two media s1 s2 and this is the incident ray ao this is the normal at the point of incidence o on the refracting surface and this is the refracted ray this is angle of incidence i angle of refraction r while light rays incident along ao and refracted along ob then we have sin i by sin r this is the medium 1 this is the medium 2 medium 1 medium 2 then sin i by sin r equal to whose refractive index medium 2 with respect to 1 equal to n to 1 but light rays are reversible in path that is if a light ray bo is incident along along bo then it will be reflected along oa that is in the second case we have this is the first medium that is the second medium also here yeah, first medium becomes but right second medium that is here yeah, sin r 
R becomes angle of incidence and I becomes angle of refraction. Sin R by sin I equal to N. What will happen? 1, 2. That is, it is the reflected medium. Hence, N, 1, 2. N, 1, 2. Right? Sin I by sin I equal to N, 2, 1. But sin R by sin I equal to N, 1, 2. That is reflective. In the first case, reflective index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. In the second case, reflective index of the first medium with respect to the second medium. Therefore, if we divide the equation 1, equation 1 with equation 2, that is 1 by 2, dividing equation 1 and 2. We get that is if we divide equation 1 by equation 2, we have sin i by sin r divided by sin r by sin i equal to n21 by n12. Right? That means sin i by sin r into sin i by sin r. It becomes multiplied, multiplied. This becomes reciprocal. That is multiplied by sin i by sin r equal to n two one by n one two. Cancel out. Sorry. Sin r by sin i. Sin i becomes in the above, but sin i by sin r, sin i by sin r, or sin r by sin i. Hence, we have. sin i by sin r n21 sin r by sin r n12 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 right right correct n12 we see that sin i by sin r it multiplied not divide it will be easy dividing multiply multiply will be easier process here multiply Equations 1 and 2, we get sin i by sin r equal into sin r by sin i equal to n21 into n12. Correct. R r i i cancel out, becomes 1. Therefore, n21 into n12, that is the effective of the second medium with respect to the first. Multiplied by reflective index of the first medium with respect to second becomes 1. Therefore, n21 equal to 1 by n12. That is, reflective index of the second medium with respect to the first equal to 1 by reflective index of the first medium with respect to the second medium. That is, these are reciprocal to each other. That is, reflective index of the second medium with respect to the one and reflective index of the first medium with respect to the second medium. A reciprocal to each other that is after taking product the value becomes one right now we see the snell's generalized law generalized snell's law generalized snell's law of light, of refraction of light, obviously. Refraction of light. We say here that when refraction occurs from a optically rarer medium to optically denser medium, optically rarer, optically denser, denser, medium then the reflected ray bends bends towards normal when light rays are incident when a light ray is incident from rarer medium and reflected at the denser medium then the 
refracted ray this is the original path of incident ray the refracted ray bends towards the normal that is angle of i greater than r here right and if light ray pi optically denser uh, reflected at the rarer medium coming from the denser medium denser optically denser obviously this is optically not mass density greater optically may or may not optically rarer optically denser in both the cases optically denser denser spelling is d n s r rarer this is rarer r a r e r rarer denser medium rarer medium in this case the refracted ray bends away from the normal that is here i becomes less than r or r becomes greater than i this must be notes in your exercise book right now we write that generalized snell's law of refraction of light we have if i be the angle of incidence and r be the angle of refraction then n21 equal to sin i by sin r but we already proved that n21 equal to n2 by n1 equal to n2 by n1 that is refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium is absolute refractive index of the second medium divided by absolute refractive index of the first medium and it is nothing but sin i by sin r we take only this in the absolute refractive index terms we have n1 into that is that means sin i by sin r equal to n2 by n1 that means n1 into sin i equal to n2 into sin r remember this n1 into sin i equal to n2 by sin r right that is refractive index of the first medium into sin of the angle of incidence that is in the first medium equal to refractive index of the second medium into and sin of the angle of reflection at the second medium right that is very important for reflection of light and for solving various numerical problems we know this is the generalized snell's law of reflection of light this is the generalized snell's law of reflection of light that is reflective index of the first medium the product of the reflective index of the first medium and the sin of angle in the first medium sin of angle of incidence in the first medium is equal to the absolute refractive index obviously refractive index of the product of the refractive index of the second medium and the sin of the angle of refraction in the second medium very important and very lucid here to remember n1 into sin i this is n1 n1 into sin i n1 this is medium n1 refractive index n2 refractive index this is i depending upon the n1 and n2 values it either bends towards the normal or or bends away from the normal depending upon the nature of the medium if from denser to rarer medium refraction occurs then angle of refraction is less than angle of incidence because the refracted ray bends towards the normal at the point of incidence on the reflecting surface and in this case if from denser to rarer medium refraction occurs the refraction occurs at the rarer medium 
then the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of diffraction and in this case the angle of diffraction becomes greater than that of angle of incidence right hence here we have n1 into n1 into sin i remember this n1 into sin i that is reflective index of the first medium here incident medium into sin of angle of incidence equal to reflective index of the of the reflect reflected medium reflecting medium n2 into sin r that is n2 means the reflective index of the second medium into sin of the angle of reflection at the second medium remember is see and use this equation frequently in the next class we know about the lateral displacement occurs when a ray of light is incident refracted and then emergent from a rectangular glass slab right okay